What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to find out the loose structure of CF4, carbon fluoride. The first thing we need to do, we need to identify the central atom, which is usually the element with the highest bonding capacity. So carbon, we have four valence electrons, and for fluorine we have seven valence electrons. It's going to be like that. So I can say the bonding capacity of carbon is 4 and bonding capacity of fluorine is 1 because only one of them is single. So carbon is the central atom. Then what we can do, we can write the symbol for central atom and then arrange the symbol of the other atoms. So I'm going to write it as C, F, 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 and F here. Then what I can do, I need to find out the total number of valence electrons. Total number of valence electrons. How do we do that? Carbon, we have one atom, it has four electrons. We have four fluorine, each of them has seven. So it's going to be four plus 28, which is going to be 32 electrons. Now what we can do, we need to place a pair of electrons between each adjacent pair of atoms. And every two of these dots represents a bonding electron pair that forms a single covalent bond. So I have it like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then what I can do, I can, we need to, the next step would be place pairs of the remaining valence electrons as lone pairs on the surrounding atoms. So one, two, 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 one, two. Now we need to find out how many ele electrons are still available by subtracting the total number of electrons you have used so far from the total number of valence electrons. So in total we have 32. Right now we used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 times 2, 32. So 32 minus 32 is 0. So we don't have any other electrons. And we need to check that if we they follow octet rule. Car for carbon, we have 2, 2, 2, 2. So 8. For all fluorine, we have 8 as well. So it means that our drawing is done. We just need to replace shared electrons with dash. So it's going to be like that. So this is the loose structure of CF4. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding chemistry, math, and physics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.